Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm excited that you're here with me today to see my empties. Yes, that's right. We're going to be going through my trash and I'll be showing you a lot of the empties that I've gotten over the last couple of months. There have actually been even more of them, but I don't want to bore you with a really long video. So we're going to go through about half of them now and then down the road I'll do the other half of them. And why I like watching other YouTubers empties videos is because I really know the things that they use and enjoy and you know get rid of and purchase again and those are the things I'll be showing you today now if you're not a subscriber I hope you'll click that little bell and subscribe that will give you notification of my future anti-aging and beauty videos for those over 50 now I've organized these at first into the fails with a few of those up front to show you what didn't work for me and then I'll show you the products that did work the first fail is a very expensive one. This is the Triple Firming Neck Cream from Neostrata and I had a viewer recommend this highly and I must have really taken what she said to heart because I think this was about $70 and it is not all used up but I will tell you that it did not work for me. I used it for about a month and a half and my neck wrinkles actually got worse instead of better. I normally use the Gold Bond Neck Firming Cream and it's only about $12 from Walmart and it works beautifully. I'll put that link below. But this Neostrata for me was a fail and I'm going to be pitching it even though it was expensive and there's still product inside. Now my next fail is this Nioxin Scalp Therapy Conditioner and there's a shampoo that goes right with this but basically this Nioxin System 4 was a very expensive kind of hair improvement system that I ordered from Amazon and I really didn't see any benefit to this. I didn't notice that it really filled in any of my bald patches or thickened my hair in any way and as you can see this is a huge bottle and this is the conditioner and it's totally empty and so I used this for probably a couple of months and didn't see any results so this is a fail as well. Now the next product I wouldn't exactly call a fail. This is the New Face Gel Primer and this is what you use to conduct the gel when you use the New Face and I would not say this is a fail it's just something kind of expensive that I replaced with something that is a lot less expensive that does the job. I think this gel costs around thirty to forty dollars depending upon the size and I really felt like aloe vera gel worked just as well and this is a look at the aloe vera gel that I use and I'll put the link below this is a Walmart product and I think it's under four dollars and this lasts a good long time there's a lot of gel in here this is a 12 ounce bottle of the gel and it works very well with the new face and I will tell you that I absolutely love this new face I use it every morning I will put a link below to my 30 day results video and I've used this almost well maybe about six weeks now I was gonna say almost two months I'm getting there I think that what I like best about this is that it seems to firm up my cheekbones my jowl area makes my cheekbones look a little higher firms up my entire lower face really like the new face now my next couple of items are makeup items that I absolutely loved and this is the julep eyeliner pencil and it's in rich brown and I have it on right now in fact I think this is the last use I'm going to get out of this one I'll pitch that one goodbye and I actually repurchased this already this is the julep long-lasting eyeliner and it's a gel eyeliner and it has a wonderful color to it just a nice rich brown and if you're blonde and you're using the black eyeliners you might try the brown because I really think it gives you a natural yet still dramatic look this lasts all day it's extremely easy to apply I'll give you a little close-up look at it I just think it's an absolutely gorgeous eyeliner and I've used probably 30 or 40 of them in the last year and so far this is my number one now my next empty is a makeup item and this is the box from the Stila mascara and I've used this for months absolutely love this I think this is probably the third or fourth one that I've repurchased and this is about twenty three dollars so it's not an inexpensive mascara but it's not the totally highest end either but I really think it gives me a very wonderful look on my eyelashes it has an absolutely wonderful large brush and with just a very few swipes it gives you that false eyelash look and I really appreciate that because this gives me the drama that I really love now my next empty is a primer and this is the Smashbox photo finish pore minimizing primer and I have used this for months absolutely love this and I have repurchased this what I think it does is it just gives you a wonderful silicone base to apply your makeup it smooths out your fine lines and wrinkles especially those under your eyes it makes your pores look almost invisible absolutely love this wonderful primer now my next empty is this Derma E anti wrinkle cleanser it has vitamin A and glycolic acid absolutely love this cleanser 
This is the cleanser that I use every morning in the shower and there's a link below to this cleanser on Walmart and it's only $11 and this lasts a good long time. But what I do is that in the morning when I'm in the shower, I put it all over my face and I scruffle it all around and then I let it sit there while I'm going through the rest of the shower and doing my hair because this glycolic acid just gets off those old dead skin cells. I use Retin-A and it really helps keep down the Retin-A peelies too. Now my next empty is a skincare empty and this is from The Ordinary so it's very inexpensive like maybe six or seven dollars but it's a 10% niacinamide with 1% zinc formulation. It's a wonderful little serum and it takes about a month to six weeks but eventually you start noticing that this makes your skin look brighter. It just brightens your skin, evens your skin tone, wonderful serum that I wouldn't do without. Now this next item is a wonderful hair care system. This is the L'Oreal Ever Sleek Shampoo. Actually this is the conditioner and I used the shampoo and accidentally threw it away too. If you are looking for a drugstore type conditioner that is really good for dry, overprocessed hair, which I definitely have, this L'Oreal Ever Sleek line is absolutely wonderful. Now it does feel a little bit oily. It's a heavy oil kind of a shampoo and conditioner. And so as you're using it, you put it on your hair and then you wash it off in the shower. And do watch your shower floor because it is a little bit slick because of all that oil. But I find that that oil really tames the frizzies and helps recondition your hair. Now this next item I use several times a week and this is the Suave Keratin Infusion Dry Shampoo. It's a very reasonably priced dry shampoo. I don't wash my hair very often, like maybe two or three times a week. And between shampoos it can get kind of flat and a little bit oily looking because I do have oily skin and hair. So I'll just use a little bit of this dry shampoo and buff it up and it just takes out that excess oil and makes my hair look fresh again. Now this last item is a little cheap item. I think it's around $350 but I have used this for absolutely years. Over the years, I've probably gone through 30 bottles of this. This is the CoverGirl Clean Makeup Remover for Eyes and Lips. I just use it on my mascara and my eye makeup. Every evening, I just go ahead and I just look like a raccoon. This instantly takes off every stitch of eye makeup. And then I use a Kleenex or a cotton pad to get off that excess. Absolutely love this. Haven't found anything better. Well, that was a look through my trash and what keeps this 50-something girl, well actually I'm 60 but who's counting, items that I use every day and really appreciate. And if you're not a subscriber and you'd like to make your second half your best half, that's what we're all about here at 50 Plus Beauty, taking everything we learned in the first half and creating a truly better second half, then I hope you'll subscribe and click that bell that will just send you emails of all my videos. Now I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day and today is no exception. I've been using these Power Thoughts cards from Louise Hay, and I've been taking out the ones that we've used, so hopefully we'll get an original one. I guess that makes sense. Here we go. All is well in my world. All is well in my world. Love that. Everything is working out for my highest good. I believe that. Out of this situation, only good will come. I am safe. Friends, this is exactly the way I like to live my life. In the first half, I think I let my emotions take me up and down and all around and usually to kind of a negative place. But in the second half, I'm really using affirmations and positive thoughts to realize that all is well in my world. Because when we truly believe that everything is working out for our highest good, and we really try to remember that only good will come out of the situation, we remember that God doesn't give bad gifts and we're able to see the best in every situation and move forward in a positive way. Take care. See you next time.